<clears throat> there. I think now you can see me. And now let me copy. <clears throat> Paste. All right. So there's the link for Sabrina, Beth, Sabrina and Anthony, Beth and Jenny. This is what we're going to expect to happen in the United States as well. This will be a layered, gradual reopening based on local conditions and most importantly, hospital capacity. Because that's what we know is going to No one will start to interact with Excuse me. All right, so. Let me go to the broadcast. Give me one second. Shoot. Okay. Okay. Sabrina's trying to get on. Good. Are you having an issue? Hi, Eric. Okay, I look a hot mess. <clears throat> Can you guys hear me okay? All right. Let me go to the live. Oof. 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 All right. The link won't work. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. It might be the wrong link. I always do this. Try that one. I don't know what would be different. <clears throat> hey, hey, Tom. Hey, Christina. So there's the link. So really quick, just want to let you guys know, tomorrow we will be on the gathering. It's SRS Paranormal. <clears throat> Thursday, tomorrow night, I think 7 p.m. is when we're going to be on. Um, so make sure you guys check that out because they're really, really good friends of ours and they're awesome. And we are honored to be asked to uh, come on their, their show. So um, you guys should check that out. We will share it on the Bruce page. But um, <clears throat> I'm waiting for everybody to be able to, you know, um, click on that link. <laughs> anyway, um, but if you miss it, we'll share it on the Brews page, like the uh, the video of it. Hey, Beth. Beth, can you click on that link? I hope they didn't like, there we go. Okay, there's Sabrina. Here she comes. Yeah, I had to go through a different way to get to it. That was weird. <laughs> really? Was yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> weird. <laughs> what? No, I just wanted to get situated on my little hooker thing. Not my hooker, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Hooker? Is that what you said? The hook, the hook to the phone. <laughs> the thing. Oh wait, here's Jenny. All right, good. We got Jenny already. All right, hold on. Let me fix it to do that. Is that better? Can you hear us, Jenny? I see her. I do see her. Can you hear us? I don't know if she. I don't know. Her connection might be a little. Can you hear us? She's freezing up on my end here. Yeah, she's a little bit. <laughs> All right, and I think this is Bethy. Yeah. <clears throat> Yay! Hi. Yeah, I, had to, I had to go through a new way, too. I don't know. Really? Going. Which way is that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I just got, luckily I just got on because I can't figure it out. Can you guys hear me okay? Wait a minute. Yeah. All right, can Jenny, can you hear us? I don't know if she's frozen. Her, no, she's moving. Check your uh <laughs> check your mic or something. I'm gonna oh my gosh. I gotta turn the light on. I'm gonna I'm gonna go in my Getty's back room. Cheers. 
Maybe there's a connection with Jenny's side. Yeah. Okay. The heck is that stupid? Hey. Oh, wait. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There we go. Sorry. All right. <coughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah. Jenny. The coffee suspect. <laughs> Shut up. I just <laughs> seriously drank something. I drank something and uh it went down the wrong pipe just before we went on. So I was like dying. I'm like, great, I'm gonna go in here. Everybody's gonna think I got the Rona. No. Bye, Sharona. Can you hear Bye, us? Jenny? I don't know if uh, Jenny can hear us. Can you can you hear us? I think, I think she's, she's trying to mess with the mic, but she what? She's I think she's trying to mess with the oh. mic. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jody. Hi, Bill. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Al. Brianna. I can't um, hear anything. There you I are. I can hear you now. I can hear you yeah. now. Can oh. you hear me near us? <laughs> she, I, just I, heard her. I just heard her. But now she came here. She might have it on mute or something or her media. Say say hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny. I need, more of this. I need more of this. Say hi. I don't think she can. She can't hear us at all. She might but we just heard her. We weren't hearing her earlier. This is why our shows are two hours. Because we always have technical difficulties no matter what. <laughs> Due to the voter matters. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we are here to talk about Penhurst. Um, yeah. I thought, what what better person to have on than Jenny? Because she's um, she practically like um, lives there. Penhurst, Penhurst is is her Gettysburg, or is, is my Gettysburg. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Penhurst is her Gettysburg, so it, it's awesome. All right, she, I think she's going to come back on, but I think it's, I think it's awesome to have like uh, that much passion. Like I know how she feels, even though her space is a lot smaller than mine, you know. But um, yeah. to have that passion about somewhere is awesome. Yeah, I, I actually love Penhurst. It's one of my favorites. Um, we we're just talking about it. It's been a while. <laughs> I kind of miss it. I know. I miss it too. Yeah. Can you hear us? Summer. Can you hear us? Yeah. She's got to do something with her mic or something. I don't know. Is she on a mobile phone device or a computer? Or what is she on? I don't know what she's on. She's back. Yeah, she is back. Ask her what she's what. Ask her in the comments. Ask her what she's using. But I don't know she's if she can. Here. I don't know if she can see the comments. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I think any one of us could see the comments. Can you, you see them? Like, well, Anthony's on his phone, so yeah. he'll see the comments, but so are you, right? I are don't you know on? If you can hear me, but I can't. I can hear right? you. I can hear you. Jenny. We can hear you. We, we can hear, hear you. you. I don't know if she's not looking at us either. We can hear you. Don't mute it. You're muting it. She, she might not be able to hear us. I can't hear Taryn. What you doing over there? What did I do? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I can hear you. Yeah, you were. Did you write on there so no. we could hear you, Jenny? But you, can hear us. you Yes. Also, there's another person on here, too, Josh. Uh, he was actually, he used to work at Penhurst. He worked there our mm. first. Penhurst Paracon. Yeah, yeah, I remember. So helpful. So he's another person. Um, yeah, he was with my group, like with like me most of the time. Like yeah. My, yeah. Tour, my tour, my Penhurst person. 
your Pennhurst person. <laughs> yeah. You know what how we all, had, we all had one, like, to take us No, oh, I did it. Oh, wait. No, I did it. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember who mine was. You if I had one. Somebody. Well, they would, they would come and go, but he was mostly mine. Every time we were late, or be like, whoops, okay, here we come. Kind of that. Yeah. Way. Yeah. So for anybody that doesn't know, we're talking about the Penhurst Paracon um, that we have probably been involved with <clears throat> um, for the last two years, but we don't know if it's going to happen this year. Yeah. It's actually three years because I did the other one prior. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. No, I didn't. So with ghostly excursions, you know, and we have a big, you know, we're part of a big, huge event and man, is, man, is it fun. Hard work, but it's fun, yeah. Yeah. and a lot yeah. of stuff. A lot of stuff has come out of uh, the, those those events, like uh, investigation wise and and evidence wise. Like we had a lot of success. Which the biggest thing to me is not how many people were there. It was that the people that were there had some of the best experiences they have ever had. You yeah. know, what I mean? and it was such yeah. a positive thing for the public. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so for me, that's the one thing that I loved about it is the the people's reaction to how awesome it was. So our hard work actually paid off yeah. because of of the good the good reviews and the good you know everything that they were saying about the event and yeah. the experiences they had, the paranormal experiences they had. People couldn't believe it. Yeah, everybody has an experience, whether it's paranormal or not. It's just still a, a well, very humbling. A humbling feeling to know um, the what those and it really isn't humbling. It's very sad what the patients went through, but you know, I can't I can't explain it. It's just can she it's like, there's a part of it that's peaceful too. There's like peaceful parts of Penhurst, and there's not so peaceful parts of Hemer, her, Penhurst. Um, I always find it peaceful in certain areas. Of Penhurst, I can sit there all day, just like Gettysburg, you know. Well, you know, I think they started. Can you out. hear us? Is she snow? She's go ahead. Yeah, you can hear you us. Can? Hey. Yes. Oh, yay! <laughs> <laughs> yay! Well, Finally. Yeah. What happened? Was it? What happened? I don't know. Somebody uh, suggested headphones, so that's working. <laughs> oh, good. Awesome. So we were, all right, so we did start talking because we just were like, wait, try, you know, we're trying to wait, but we're a little excited about talking about Penhurst. So. <laughs> sure, go right ahead. <laughs> so what I was saying was, so, I, all right, so I want you to introduce yourself. Just tell people, like, how long you've been there, you know, the things, you just were there doing an, a little investigation yourself, right? Right, yes. And that seemed to go um, pretty good. Um, yeah, but I, but I said, I totally love your passion for the place because it's my, like your Penhurst, like it's Gettysburg to me, what Penhurst yeah. is to you. You know what I mean? So I totally get Absolutely. it. So oh, go ahead and tell us, tell us about you and then tell us about your favorite place on earth. Uh, well, my name is Jenny Lynn. Um, I've been working at Penhurst for about five years now. Um, but I first stepped onto the campus in 2011 for the haunted attraction. And as soon as, I stepped on the property. I just knew that was it. That was my place. Um, you could feel the energy. It was palpable, incredible. I mean, like Sabrina said, you feel so many different things in different yeah. areas. And um, it was incredible. Um, actually, uh, the memory just came up in my Facebook feed seven years ago. Uh, I did my first investigation there with a uh, private group. And it changed my life forever. Uh, we had incredible experiences that night. Amazing things happen. Some would say holy grail stuff, you know. Um, and I've been hooked ever since. Um, I've always felt like a weird connection to the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never really quite knew what it was until, like, I started um, really feeling the energy there and it's more of a protective nature. You know, I want to protect the spirits that are still there. Um, just help them be heard, you know, and just be there for them. Absolutely. So, I think it, I think it's amazing. And I, and I was saying how, you know, we've been part of the Penhurst Paracons the last two years, right? Um, Sabrina actually has been three years. She was there the year before. 
you know, uh, Bob and Gina started doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. So right. we go with ghostly excursions. And I said, you know, it, it's crazy the difference in the years, like the, the crowds and this and that. And I said, but it absolutely was 1000% like all our hard work, all of our dedication and everything was just so worth it because every, like the customers, the people that paid like that were paranormal enthusiasts or whatever the case may be, they left, everybody left there with like this, the greatest experience, like they had the best time. You know, they all had, there's people that, we have three apparition photos in one of our groups. You know what I mean? And we've had people with EVPs, that people that didn't believe in it and were running out of the, remember the Philadelphia tunnel where some woman ran out of there. She's like, I came here like totally thinking this was just BS. We got some mm -hmm. feedback. I hear feedback. Yeah. Anybody else hear it? No. no. All right. Yeah, I hear a little bit. Must be me then. Sorry. I just hear the background noise. So, uh, hmm. but Penhurst definitely, um, I know for myself, um, the first time I went there, I, I definitely had a hard time. And I it didn't find out until about maybe like six months later. Um, I had connected with family I never met. And told me that I had a, a first cousin that was in Penhurst, like as a resident, oh, wow. as a resident, you know, and he was there till he was 15. Then it, I think in 78, he was transferred to Hamburg State Hospital. Mm -hmm. wow. I think he died like shortly after that, but that's, he was in Penhurst his whole life. So wow. it was just weird to me, you know, that I had this like weird connection. So I know what you mean about the feeling, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had to, uh, when I, my first experience in, in Pennhurst, I was really nervous too, because my grandfather was actually a patient in Byberry. And I, you know, I, I didn't know how I was going to handle it because I was going to go to my first asylum and Pennhurst was actually my first asylum that was an investigation. Um, and I got in there and I remember sitting on the ground and um there was a spirit that was pretty scared in a corner and you know i was explaining to the patient that i had a grandfather i understand i empathize with you i understand where you're coming from and what you're dealing with and that kind of allowed that spirit to come out of hiding and uh, start talking to us um, in the investigation, and so that's kind of like kind of the connection I have with Penhurst. It, it brings it. There's a connection with understanding. I have mentally ill uh, in my family that I empathize so much that I'm connected to Penhurst that way. So I think that's uh, what draws me to Penhurst um, so so much. <laughs> yeah, we Tyler, just uh, okay? yeah. <laughs> place sorry the lighting in here sucks i feel like i look <laughs> blue or something but it's all blue is it blue yeah just a little mine's yellow so so what are some of like uh how did your first of all how's your investing like i love that you can go there yourself and you're totally comfortable <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. May Mayflower is very calm. Like they're so used to me, and I'm used to them, so they really don't bother me there. And I'm, I just feel totally comfortable. Um, yeah, because of the quarantine and all this going on with coronavirus, um, unfortunately, obviously we can't have any groups uh, investigating. Um, but what they're doing is they're letting us um, paranormal investigators that work there uh, take turns every weekend. One person on in the building at a time, um, just do a little bit of a live investigation, still sort of promote and get people, yeah. you know, get people to, <laughs> there you go. Um, so like, yeah, if, just keep like people I'll, just interested. Come, I'll come with you one night cause I won't do it by myself, but I'll come with you one night <laughs> <laughs> and All we right. can social distance ghost hunt. It'll be the first one ever. We'll just stay there six feet away from each other the whole time. It's, it's, it's yeah. You on one floor, me on another. Yeah. We yeah. can all take a building. It's big enough. That's yeah, right. right? <laughs> so how cool. was it just being absolutely desolate and quiet? Like, did you oh. get anything new or different from that experience? Um, not so much different, but as soon as, um, well, I had gone in, I set up all my stuff before I went on. 
And then as soon as I went up to start the investigation on second floor, just the alarms are going off. And uh, oh, I was geez. like, wow. And usually second floor is pretty quiet for me, you know. Uh-huh. So I was kind of surprised. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, then I went up to third floor, um, got some loud bangs and things like that. Um, it was interesting. I turned on the spirit box, did a little bit of that and heard my name clear as day. So that was pretty cool. Oh, wow. Um, cool. Yeah. yeah. Was, but it, um, was, it was fun. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. How long were you there? Um, about an hour for the live. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. There was, um, um, what was it? A, I think it was a little over a year ago. I went, I went for, they asked to, uh, for help. And there was a few people doing an investigation. So I went in and everybody left. I think it was after Penhurst. I think everybody was just burned out. So I, I helped out and I was the only one there. So when everybody left, I had to go around checking all the doors to make sure the like the tunnels were closed. <laughs> and it was this huge fog that came through. It was like pea soup. I'm like, this is straight out of a horror movie. <laughs> oh, wow. It was so cool. Uh, so are you so kidding me? Every situation we go into is straight out of a horror movie. Like no, I know, but this was, I was dead alone at Penhurst. Not a single soul was there. And I had to go across from Mayflower over a Rockwell to, and, and through, through that fog. I'm like, I, I was scared shitless. I'd never been oh, scared. Wow. Probably the only time I've ever been scared. And it wasn't because I was scared of, it was just, it was just really a scary feeling. You know what I mean? It wasn't that I was scared of Penhurst. It was just like, if you were there, you'd be like, oh, straight out of the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they, they tend to mess with you, too, when you're alone like that. I, I had an experience, too. Uh, one of the last times I was there for the last investigation season, um, I had to go close the door to Philadelphia. And uh-huh. I just closed it. And as soon as I turned around and started walking away, I hear like click and then boom, the door uh-huh. was like somebody opened the door and then slammed it shut. I just took off. I started running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm yelling. And then I went around the building and there was uh, two people loading up their truck to leave. And they're like, what's going on? And I said, somebody just slammed the door right behind me. <clears throat> so we went back <laughs> and we're standing there and I'm like, okay, I'm here. I'm back again. I said, could you slam the door again? And uh, all of a sudden, we just heard this loud bang from inside the building. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, they, they tend to mess with you when you're there at the <laughs> end, you know? Uh, Yo, Rockwell is my, hands down, my most favorite area to be in that one. Oh, the tunnel. Yeah. Yes. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. That, that tunnel is, ama- like, hands down amazing. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Well, I always <laughs> like Philadelphia. I like. I know you do. Yeah, I know you do. <gasps> Yo, <Uh-oh. laughs> Zeus is, my Zeus is being a bully. No, Zeus oh. is being a, a, an a hole. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, Rockwall is definitely, uh, and I know you like Philly. Um, yeah. You know, and I honestly, I'm, I try to spend all my time in Rockwall. I really didn't get enough time. You know what I mean, like in in Devon or any anywhere else, really, except for that time I went in with to Philly with you. Yeah, yeah, I like I went in alone now. You know, like a couple people in Philadelphia. It's hard to like, there's too many people. I don't get yeah, quite it's a small quite space people. for yeah a lot of people. Yeah. So yeah. so what is the the I don't want to say scariest because it's not scary per mm. se. But what would be the mo- the your best paranormal experience, even if it's not a Penhurst. Who, me? Obviously, it was, yeah. Obviously, yeah. it was a Penhurst, uh, right? I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, well, this was uh, seven years ago, um, doing a private investigation with a small group. And we went into an area we weren't supposed to, um, into a basement. And supposedly, there's a spirit there named Skippy. I'm sure everybody's kind of heard of him. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty grumpy, but apparently the story is he was a maintenance worker who used to do some not so nice things to the patients there. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course, we were doing provoking like we shouldn't have. <laughs> um, next thing you know, 
we just hear like bang and then this light the the hanging light above my head like exploded and oh, wow. I, had, I had glass all over me and then the fixture just came crashing down about a foot and a half from me almost oh, wow. killed me wow so yeah um we were looking through the debris and we found this big piece of metal pipe which wasn't there before so we mm -hmm. concluded that this was thrown at the light causing it to explode and come down mm. and um i mean it was just incredible and the guy our guide he was like i gotta get you out of here before someone gets hurt and i'm like no now i want to stay and see right. what's going <laughs> on you know <laughs> like nobody tries to kill me and gets away with it yeah and, uh, right so then um i think it was last year we were down in rockwell tunnel and one of the doorways leading to this off limits area had a hole in the doorway and I stuck my recorder in and I said, you know, Skippy, I said, I still have a bone to pick with you for what you did to me. Mm -hmm. So I let it run. We were quiet for about 15 minutes. And then the next day when I listened back, all you hear is a male voice calling us a-holes. Oh, clear as day. That's awesome. Yeah. I was like, uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Taryn's like, incredible. that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Taryn, it is. <laughs> you have one like that, Taryn. Uh, that's what we're just called. You have one like that. I have one. I have one. You have an EVP. Was it the Winslow house that said, fuck you, remember? Yeah. <laughs> yep. and I heard it I heard it out loud with my right, ear. You, right. You heard it, and then they played it back, and it was clear as day. Yeah, I said wow. this. I hear this. That I hear this. Awesome. It was a guy, and it yeah. sounded like somebody just went "fuck you." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember this house was pretty vulgar. Yeah, right, yeah. I yeah like, you hear me yell out. You hear me yell out to everybody. I'm like, did anybody just say "fuck you"? Because I, I had to know. <laughs> I mean, it was just, no, no. Yeah, and that wasn't the first down. time at Winslow was the "fu" bomb. Was yeah, it was more than one time that visit. Yes, yeah, yeah, so yeah, but that was the time word. I heard it, man. I love wow. when that happens. Uh, I love when you yeah. hear it. You love that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pen Yeah, I was listening I back a, and then... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I have Penhurst experience, but I, I went with a, another group. You won't say who it is, as Taryn would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't <laughs> have group. For names yeah, we won't yeah. mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we were leaving. It was interesting because it was my first time, I think, there maybe. But as we were leaving, um, I could just feel somebody like, like coming at like following us and then the recorder was on and then when i got back and it may it, it, uh, i mean it felt now but also someone was like calling for their mommy not to leave their mommy mommy plain as day like like almost like where are you going why are you leaving and that really was profound for me i really yeah. think they tried i think they tried to do good when they first opened it and i think gina um sent out that video about the kids and how they were learning and stuff like that. It was pretty fascinating to me. And I, I really thought they tried, but then they got overwhelmed with so many patients. They just couldn't handle it. But yeah. they did. When, when they you think, <clears throat> when you think about it back in the day, you could basically drop anybody off at a, at an insane yeah. zone for, right. for, for no reason. You could I just, you know, would have been there. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? So like women who had postpartum depression were just being sure. dropped right. off there. Men who just wanted to leave their wives and be with other people were just drop saying that oh she's yeah, crazy and yeah. dropping them off. Yeah, they yeah. want to be parents. Say, yeah, you know they would. And then you think you know lack of funding too. You know state funding. Mm -hmm. You know wasn't coming in and absolutely right. you get insane. overcrowding. No yeah. funding for staff and yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there's still some uh, p uh, people that are still alive and and uh that were from Pennhurst, like nurses and stuff like that, right, Jen? Doctors? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, during the haunt season, um, there is a woman who runs the museum, and she's mm -hmm. she stays in the museum part when you're taking the tour of Mayflower. Um, yeah. And you can actually talk to her. She worked there, um, I think, in the later years, like the 80s, I think. And uh, mm -hmm. she'll tell you a story. She'll talk to you about the place. And I mean, it's pretty interesting. And I think that's probably yeah. what was at its worst, too, in the 80s, because that's right after that, it's closed down yeah, in the, the 80s. The right? It took Early a long time. I think it took a long time for them to shut down. What was it, three years or something? 80, 86, 87. Yeah. They closed. Yeah. 
That was in the, that was um, in the, that was in the final judgment of the lawsuit. The lawsuit, what? The lawsuit was brought by Helderman. Oh, uh, a Alderman. patient there. Yeah, that alleged abuses, all these abuses. And then, so it started, what, he, he filed in 1975, right? Jenny? Right, yeah, and it went on quite a bit, I think. Well, yeah, and then they, and part of the well, lawsuit agreement was to close the place down. So they were in the 84 and then, mm -hmm. and then 87. Right. Yeah, about that time, yeah. Three years, yeah. So three years, yeah. So, so yeah. the buildings that, that people are allowed in, right? Um, mm -hmm. that's only a portion of the property, isn't it? Because oh, yeah. I feel like there's like buildings all the way back. Oh my gosh. I would love to get into <laughs> Like, I know there's some that you, it's absolutely like some of the pictures you showed from your, from your thing or whatever. Like I, there's a building or two that I've never seen. So I know that's oh, really? somewhere about, yeah. Um, and it's Were you really, ever up at the hospital. I was, but it was it was during it was during the one of the paracons the Penhurst paracon so there's a lot of people and it was the year it was like really hot and Matt was running waters all over yeah. the, with yeah. a golf not water. last year the year before you were I think you went you mentioned you went to there Taryn not last year the year before you went to the to hospital area I did yeah <laughs> yeah I think so <laughs> I thought you said you did I don't know uh, I think see there's Last year, the, I, I don't remember now. Uh, Last year was a blur because of the heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, last but, year, the year before was hot too. Remember? I'm yeah, it was hot. Except, yeah, but it was it was more tolerable than last, <laughs> last year. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people from our group got sick and had to go home because of the heat. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was bad. So Jenny, in fact, ever... Brianna's father had heart issues, and he had to go to the hospital with that one. A yeah, of there was. The yeah, there was some. I mean, they did a good job, like really trying to really accommodate everybody. Yeah, I thought Matt, the... like yeah. hands down, Matt's customer service, like so impressed me. Like I couldn't yeah. even. He was so dedicated to make sure <laughs> the people that paid yeah. were having a good time, were okay. You know what I mean? Like he really, yeah. really it yeah. impressed yeah, me. He's... He's yeah, great. He's... Both years. I hope, you know, I know with everything going on that we probably won't get back there because of the coronavirus. But I mean, no, I me and like... Jenny are going to do the first ever <laughs> social distance investigation. Oh, really? <laughs> there you go. Well, you got to tell like Matt. That. I'll take you got to tell for Matt and tell <laughs> Matt we're going to do our first social oh, distance. I'm not scared. I'll go. Social distancing <laughs> uh, ghost hunt. And it's going to be we'll go, it. we'll go live on Facebook the whole time. So everybody will know that we have social distanced right. the whole time. Yep. <laughs> you, know, you, you know which one I felt eerie at? Um, I got a KN95 mask. I suck at so. the of it. Yeah. Which one was by the, the pool area? What building was that? Devon? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So that one I, I felt I don't, the most anguish. Like I felt like a lot of. Out of, out of the okay, the, out of the ones they let us in, you know, that was the one I felt. Which one? Devin, that by the pool uh, area. I saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, my direction, but yeah, by the pool area. Um, that 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 one in there, <clears throat> like there was a lot of water. Remember, Gina fell. Yeah, I was there. Oh, is that the Devin? Oh that's yeah, yeah, Devin. yeah. That's the okay, Devin. That building, that building is one that I think I feel that gets me the Ooh. most. Sorry, but yeah. I miss mm -hmm. Candyland. I miss Candyland. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a shame that I'll probably, I'll never see that again. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure it's devastated now. Right, yeah. Jenny? No, no, it's still good. It's still good? No water? Yeah. I, think there, I think there was water. I think the last Is that time. in Devon? Is that the Devon? Devon. Okay. Candy yeah. Land. I wasn't not sure what Candyland Did you was. say Candyland? Yeah. 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 What, the, the game? <laughs> there's no, a room the, in the basement of Devon? There's a room in the Devon. Wait. That's named the Candyland. Yes, because there's yeah. a mural so here, so painted this, on the wall. So, so this is my problem. I never remember the history of places. Like uh -huh. you know, when you do like walkthroughs and people like say, "Oh, okay, so this is what happened, and this is who here," and blah, blah, blah. I do not remember shit. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if my brain just blocked it out. But the only places or place that I can remember stuff is Gettysburg. I just it just is, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> but when we go to like investigations and stuff, when we do like 
It took me forever to learn which, which one Rockwell was. It was my favorite one. So like now I finally have the lay of the land a little bit. So, but it takes me forever. So whenever I get like EVPs or I do like whatever disembodied voices, I do not remember anything. So Jenny, oh, have, you been, have you been in the cemetery, Jenny? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Where is the cemetery? Where are we trying to go there? Uh, it's saying it's off limits because it's yeah. Oh yeah, it's what on, is the, it's on the VA land? property. VA property, you can't go it's on right. right. You're just unless, not allowed yeah. ever. Unless, like is well, anybody? Unless you buy um, the stuff, right, Jenny? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, unfortunately, I can't disclose the exact location. <laughs> uh, do you know how huge that would be? Yes, we I'm could here. totally, uh, first of all, do our own, our the very first social distancing ghost hunt. <laughs> but we will not say where it is, but we will do an investigation from the cemetery that nobody knows where it's at. Oh, boy. I hope nobody's watching. <laughs> I will put the, uh, the GPS coordinates in the geocache nearby. You have to find it. There's a question, though. Uh, I'll sign James. a waiver that I'm sworn to secrecy. I'm not allowed to tell anybody. <laughs> There you Where go. I'll make you sign a paper. So, Jenny, is that, is that your <laughs> There's a question. Place? Do you live near the Penhurst? Is that why you go a lot? Do you live near there? Um, I'm actually like two hours away from there. Oh, so wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually closer. We're like a little over an hour. But yeah, there's a, little, a question. Bit, I think yeah. there's a question on here. Yeah, the question. A question. Is, go ahead. Are they, are they going to open a uh, Quaker Hall? The Quaker building? Quaker? Hmm. Um, at this point, it's unsure. They don't know. Okay. And are they going to close okay. some? Is there talk of closing some? Um, there are three buildings that are actually going to be demoed this summer. Ah, um, which one? Wait, you can't even. I couldn't wait for. I wanted you to bring this up. I wasn't going to ask. <laughs> oh, no, Jenny, Jenny's already um, told me. Sherry told me. So, so. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't know. But I know you. You know, she put it on Facebook. So right, I like know, you said. But, yeah, you got to want to hear it again. Pic pictures of the yeah the buildings before they're gone. Um, Hershey Dietary and Rockwell buildings. That's the oh, building. Oh, I'm like right through my heart. I know. But wait, yeah. But, did it, but isn't the tunnel going to be like salvaged? The tunnels. Yeah. I'm assuming they're just going to leave them as is. Um, so that's what I'm saying. Like the tunnels will still be there. Yeah. As far as so, I know, I haven't heard so anything. Rockwell tunnel will be there. I would imagine because they have the haunt oh. that goes through there. And there's another you know? access besides Rockwell, right? The other end of the Rockwell you can get in. Yeah. My, yeah. my thought, like I said, I haven't heard anything. Don't quote me or anything, but <laughs> my theory is like maybe possibly entering the Rockwell tunnel through Devon. Uh -huh. okay. I mean, I would think I would think that'd be the only the logical way. way. Yeah. If they if they seriously can't keep the tunnel, I think I will go into a deep depression. <laughs> I know that's my favorite too. Yeah. Like that's I really true. think that would be like the worst thing ever. Like yeah. they should make sure they preserve that tunnel with yeah. every cent. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll fight. We'll fight. Out so well, you know, it did such yeah. a good job with cleaning it out and, and, and getting that, getting us through there. I mean, that wasn't yeah. before. I mean, the only tunnel that I ever went through and none of the tunnels were open was when Devin was around, we snuck through Candyland around the Candyland area and went through, I think it went through to the Quaker he goes, is the Quaker next to the Candyland? And then there is like a, there was like um a, a big uh, cage where the kids get kept in. And then they would uh, have the, they would have the spray, the uh, big like tubes, um, what do you call it? Like you do the fire hose to spray the kids down, wash them down. So that tunnel we snuck through, God, years ago, before Matt had it. Um, and um yeah, we went through. That was very upsetting to be in, under there. That was very, very disturbing. Oh, wow. Yeah, very hmm. disturbing. Yeah. I'm trying to think of where. So, you cave. know where Candyland is, and then you go out of Candyland, I think it's like, there's like to a the... door. They had it blocked off one of the tunnels, and it was like kind of like, like a, just a little 
wooden thing plank and then we, we just moved it over really and then we kind of snuck in through. oh just that tunnel part okay yeah the tunnel all right part. Okay. i think it leads into quaker i think it was the one that goes in i think that we lead it into quaker yeah, Meg, megan's, megan's agreeing with you she said i think that was quaker basement yeah yeah okay. because i don't know megan where are you i wonder if megan was with me that one time were you with me wait so so megan said um Jenny, remember that you were with the group that heard the heels on the floor? Was that oh, Rockwell? Yeah. Yep, Rockwell. The heels. Okay, but so listen, that wow. was after, I didn't know it was you, but that was after the when the group I took down and me and the one girl were left and she said, and we heard something at the short end of the Rockwell, like right where it ends right there, you know, off to the left. Yeah. We heard something. Everybody else had just kept going and we stopped and we're both sitting there. And she's like, you heard that? I'm like, I heard that. I'm like, you're, <laughs> it was so corny, but it was so true. I felt it. I was like, you're really a ghost hunter, aren't you? Like you really, you, you're missing your calling. You need to join a group. So anyway, so we start talking and then we hear something again. And I said, I, and I didn't have my phone. I'm like, take a picture. And she lifted her phone up. She took a picture. I said, take two more right now. So she took another one, took another one. And we were down there for, you know, nothing really happened. But then as we were walking out, she stopped me and then shows me this picture of what looked like a woman in like one of those, it was a silhouette, but it was like the, the poodle skirt, like a longer poodle skirt, like, and, and, you know, like a woman standing at the end of the tunnel. Wow. You know? And, um, I couldn't believe it. I was like, and it takes a lot for me to like be sold on something and I that was just and then it later you heard the heels which <laughs> was weird and then somebody yeah. else somebody else said they heard a woman's voice or something and I was like there's three accounts of like a woman being down there woman figure yeah yeah and it's funny and because one of our yeah Rockwell Tunnel okay um one of our investigation groups last fall um came out and they were telling us their experiences down there and they said we heard a woman walking in heels. I said, "Shut up!" Stop. I'm like, "You gotta be kidding me!" Wow. So it's not I like if you it's know. A nurse. I wonder if it's a nurse. That's what I'm thinking. You know, because that's how they would get around yeah, from one building to another. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, they were, they were short. Yeah. What? Yes, so I guess they would yeah. have heels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. nurses back in the day wore <laughs> heely shoes. My mom, even my yeah. mom in the '70s, wore heely shoes. Yeah, like a chunky. Heel yeah. 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 Huh. Yeah. So that was that, incredible. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. And then somebody else came mm -hmm. out with what looked like it was like a misty type figure, but you could tell it was, you could see like a head and an arm sticking out. It looked like a little kid. Yeah. Wow. That was another oh, the one. one oh. from the first power con, the boy, the little boy, like coming out of the wall. Yes. That picture, because there was two that seemed right after each other from Rockwell. Yeah, it was, the, it was that silhouette of the woman, and then it was that. Mm -hmm. And people yeah. were coming out with, like, saying they were being touched. People heard whispers. Mm -hmm. and then we I were in there. Think, I honestly think Penhurst is much, much more active in the daytime than nighttime. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have to say so. Yeah, the we should do a, a daytime investigation instead of a nighttime. <laughs> Yeah. No, one, no, of, no. one of the other cool things in the Rockwell that happened, we were like doing an investigation with the people that, you know, were the, I got, I got the Penhurst person I got stuck with his girlfriend and then like six people that paid. <laughs> Dude, seriously. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> <It's scary. laughs> Bubba. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> <laughs> we're literally on the second floor so i have no idea what he's like barking at hmm. uh -oh. anyway um we're sitting uh, on the edge on the ledges or whatever we're just doing a vp session and in the middle of all of us was like this it was like this sigh moan it was like oh in the middle of all of us. and i go was that you was that you? We're, we're, all of us are like, that wasn't you. Are you serious? We could. It took us like five minutes to realize, like, nobody else made that that noise. It wasn't anybody. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We uh, the one time we were gonna do an EVP session, so everyone was sitting down, and right before I sat down, I went to back up, but I hit the wall, and I was like, oh, oh, you know. And then all of a sudden, you hear, 
like somebody's <laughs> laughing. Awesome. And I thought it was my friend that was with me. And I said, what are you laughing at? He goes, I wasn't laughing. I was like, did you hear that? He goes, I heard the laughing. And I'm like, oh, my God. That's awesome. Um, That's so awesome. Stuff like that, like, it's totally, like, those, that's the things that I don't care. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Nobody has to believe me. Right. I had that experience, and it's freaking awesome. Like, mm-hmm. when you when we were at um, Rolling Hills, I had something similar happen, except I heard it was like, you know, there was like these little things in this room, and me and a guest, I said, did you, did you hear that? She goes, yeah, I hear that. And we're standing right outside the do- a doorway, and all of a sudden, I could feel the breath on my cheek. He was like, ho, Like this. <laughs> and he was right in front of my face. And I was like, Ooh, okay. oh, my God. Uh-huh. I was like, that wow. was like, a little too close there, buddy. Like, but that was something I'll never forget. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another experience down in Rockwell Tunnel. Um, I was with a small group and we we're just standing there. And there was a girl in my group who claimed to be a, a medium. And all of a sudden she turns around and she's going, oh. And I said, what's wrong? She goes, I turned around and there's this big black man standing he's standing right in front of me and I'm like oh okay and then she's like and he's looking at you like with his arms folded like just giving you this funny look and I'm like, <laughs> okay she's like he knows who you are and they have a name for you and I'm like oh I bet they do <laughs> and she's like no it's nothing bad she's like I can't make it out what they're trying to say she's like but it has to do with like mother or protector. I'm like, you're kidding. You know? Uh, and uh, so anyway, so that was the end of that. But then a couple of weeks later, I had another group down there and there was a, another girl, several, totally separate person say, you know, she was a medium too. And all of a sudden we're sitting there and I just had my head down and she goes, there's a big black man standing right in the middle of this hallway. And I just said, what did you just say? She goes, there's a big black man standing there right in front of you. And I said, yeah. <laughs> all right. She's uh-huh. like, his name is his name is Roger. And I'm like, oh, okay. So now I finally have a name for him. Um, she said, you know, he's he's comfortable with you being here, but not with everyone else. And I was like, okay. And then she, like a couple minutes later, she's like, oh, he's sitting right next to you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hi, Roger. <laughs> Wow, what you got a fan in the uh in the paranormal world. Yeah, I said he's my That's buddy a now, you know. Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so I just mm-hmm. thought that was incredible that I got two separate people, two separate nights tell me the same yeah. thing. You know? Jenny, if you put a picture up on Facebook in a wedding gown talking about I'm marrying Roger, my ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I put you on a talk show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm named Roger from Hendricks. The silent. Yes. I'm in love uh, with this. I knew I always had a connection to this place. I, yes. I can marry you. I'm an ordained minister. I can marry you. Oh, there you there go. We got it all set up now. Oh my gosh, it adds to it. We can have a social distance ghost investigation wedding. slash wedding to Roger. <laughs> Beth, you can social dis you can have your first ever social distancing. <laughs> You know, oh, marriage. <laughs> great. Henderson yeah. get, like, so many views. Oh my God, that's uh, that's, that's going to be a Netflix mm-hmm. series, My Ghost Wedding. Oh, <laughs> my Lord. That, that would be like the It would be the first. Will be famous? Yeah, it would be. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Everything I'm saying is the first. Uh, oh, the moment, I'm not the moment sure I want I that kind of commitment, me. though. <laughs> you know, Penhurst, you can play. Too, but I love them. At Penhurst, we could have the first ever um, bachelor and bachelorette of the ghost <laughs> of the paranormal. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Over that dark corner is Roger. Over there is Cindy. We cannot see her, but we're, we're pretty sure she had blonde hair one time. It was review. Is Roger going to strike tea for us? <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, he's, he's just my buddy down there. Yeah. Did they ever say if he was. Um, Patient or a doctor, did you ever find out anything about him? Did you look up the history? I tried to do some research, just put in Roger Penhurst. You know, I nothing really came up. Um, you know, I didn't even think at the time 
to mm-hmm. ask if there was any more information. I was just so blown away by all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. But yeah. but if anybody else comes in and says anything, I'm definitely going to ask them, you know, if they knew if he was a resident or, you know, a worker. Or, yeah. Or you could even try. Do you, I'm sure you try to talk to him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was there in January. Um, I got uh, an SLS camera, so I wanted to try it out. And I, I took it down there and I, I called for him and everything. But I mean, it was no pun intended, dead as a doornail down there. I said, they must hibernate during the winter or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could hear a pin drop across campus. Yeah. Um, huh. Couldn't get anybody to come out and talk to me or anything. So um, wasn't able to talk to him then or see him. Like, I just wanted to see if I could see him on camera too, you know, that would be neat. But like, you know. you have any EPs, uh, from like, quote unquote, Robert, or? No, not from him. Mm-mm. That's so funny, right? You, we yeah. could probably get EPs on anything else. That just goes to show you, like, when you want to have a connection with somebody, you, mm-hmm. you know, you know how they always say, like, when you want to have a connection, like, it just it blocks it or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's like the more you want it to happen, it's like, nah. yeah. Not but how do you not? <laughs> how do you make yourself not want to make that connection? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's impossible. Mm-hmm. Total mind. Man. But it, it seems to me too that um, maybe he doesn't talk. He doesn't like she like the lady said. You know, she's yeah. seeing him just stare at me. You know, and so those are feelings me- getting mm-hmm. like yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That would theor- I would theorize that there's very strong possibility because of that from what you just said. It, it's patient, 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 or patient from the, from the sounds of it. Or yeah. here's he the- doesn't have the capacity, you know, like, yeah. Maybe he won or, you know, you were a nurse at one point there, maybe, you know? Mm-hmm. 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 Connected. Well, they didn't have anybody to protect them. So if, if, if he, you're connecting her as a protector, then, yeah, that would make some sense that, um, that it would be a patient. Um, only because of that protecting feeling, because, you know, why would that really be like a, a worker that was abusing or any, any of that aspect, you know, um, was there and just didn't care. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that would make more sense. You know, it would make more sense that, you know, okay, I'm, I'm comfortable around this person. She's not a, a nurse or a doctor or, or someone in authority that's going to hurt me. It's somebody is going to, wants to protect me and wants to care for me. So it makes sense. Also, that be patient. also um, I was thinking too, you know, a lot of times their personalities come they show they show in size as opposed to what they how big they really are right so maybe it was a patient who in life couldn't be what he wanted to be or was what he wanted to be so in death you know he's like this big huge tough you know what i mean guy but still inside has that same mentality of being small but like you know or being a kid yeah but he's just coming across that way to make himself you know look bigger you know, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. And that's his maybe, area. Maybe you remind him of someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'd be interesting to do some more research, you know, and check it out. Okay. Absolutely. Um, off topic, but not quite. Only tell me the answer if it's a good one. <laughs> How's the goat doing? Lie to me. Oh, the goat! Oh. Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that sarcastic? I have to do a picture. Um, I believe they took him to a farm somewhere. They did. Mm-hmm. I think they so, finally cause... caught it because I knew that yeah. was the problem. Nobody could catch it. Yeah. Um. I. He became friendly with a lot of the the workers down there, so he started coming around a little bit, and he was starting to get used to everybody. Oh, he was so cute! But I know. Yeah, he totally but... distracted me so bad that weekend. I was like, I, know. I was like giving him food and water and shit, and like going around and trying to. Yeah. Um, remember, I was so worried about him not having water. I'm like, yeah, where's a bucket of water? He has no <laughs> water. Yeah, he was brought. They were brought into 
uh, control, I guess, some of the poison ivy and things around the grounds. But, you know, I guess it was more for their safety because they were getting too friendly and they were afraid maybe somebody would do something, you know. Yeah. Oh. Two or one? Two or one? I only saw one. There was two. Yeah. Okay. I don't really remember the one. Yeah, yeah. no. The other one, what happened to the other one? They, I think they both went to a farm. Uh, oh, that's right. They were going to do both at the at, at first, but they couldn't catch the other one. Right. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. so, um, I know, when I was there Saturday, I was like, oh, I wish the goat was still here. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Who's yeah. asking a question? Megan, but I think you answered it already. I think that was in Penhurst. No, I don't think it was in Penhurst. What, what's your... Yeah. No, what's, your, Penhurst. what's your best paranormal experience at Penhurst? I think, I think yeah. you answered that already, though. Did you answer that? Um, you... Well, the light exploding. Um, also, that same night, we were on third floor of Mayflower. Um, we had a ball halfway down the hallway, and we were all in that little day room at the end. Mm -hmm. We were just kind of chatting. Then all of a sudden, um, we just hear like, boom, 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 boom. And I said, that sounded like the ball. Luckily, I had the uh, infrared camera sitting on the floor pointed down the hallway. So I'm like, well, let's, you know, rewind the footage and see what happened. Mm -hmm. So we looked back and here the ball got lifted up off the ground and was thrown across the hallway. <laughs> and then it bounced, hit the wall, stopped dead against the wall. But then it came back out into the hall and started rocking back and forth as if like a little kid was sitting there playing mm -hmm. with it. Oh, but there was That's nobody on awesome. camera. But to see it lift off the ground like that, it was incredible. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I said, yeah, no amount of wind could do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't, know, I don't know if I've ever seen anything physically. You did, Beth. I remember the night you saw something. I, yeah, that, but that wasn't at Penhurst. But yeah, no. I, I don't usually see, you know, spirits move things. So when I do, it's like, it's like, holy shit, like scary. Yeah, you were freaking out. Yeah, you know, and I talked to the dead, but this time it was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Yeah, he, they made a what? blanket. Well, they made a blanket pick up, you know, all, all the way off the table. Um, she was like, it was like somebody picked it up like yeah, that, you know? Yeah. And yeah, I, I, I just got done. And then doing, drop it. Doing a reading or Reiki on a client and, uh, he was like sitting down and I was standing there and um, all of a sudden we were talking and I felt his pres a presence of his, his friend, um, unfortunately OD'd at a young age. So then all of a sudden, and he was a clown, you know, the whole blanket was like his drawstring was like, Ooh, and then they dropped it. And, then, and his friend was like, can you like fucking make him do that again? I'm like, no, holy shit, I'm getting out of here. What are you talking about? <laughs> 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 he said that's like, they don't usually do things, you know? I was just like, no. Nope. I'm like, he's right there. Ask him. And he didn't do it again, but you know, he thought it was funny. But I was just like, um, yeah, it was a little freaked out when they move things in front of you. I don't usually have that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that's it's incredible. Very <laughs> I would love for that to happen. I know. And, and, and at the time, you don't have a camera or either, or, or you know, your yeah. camera or video or. thing. You know, it's like, shit, why wasn't that on? What? Or or you yeah. do, but you're just so, like, and, yeah, I, enthrall, like enthralled in what you're seeing. You yeah. don't think to pick your camera up and take a picture. And that's happening yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. Just like, but yeah. Yeah. she wasn't even like, doing an investigation. She was taking care of a client for, yeah, for yeah. Reiki. So it wasn't yeah. like, yeah. Wow. That is kind of like you're connecting <laughs> yeah. with the spirit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're connecting with people. So, yeah. you know, you're bringing, you're, you're making that energy happen, you know, because yeah. you're, you know, so yeah. I'm, I'm surprised my, well, my dad did the lights that one night, but I'm surprised yeah. my dad, my dad yeah. hasn't done anything like that. Yeah. Just, I'm always told he has a very strong spirit, you know what I mean? So, or strong mm -hmm. energy, should I say. Yeah, your dad uh, has a good sense of humor too. He's funny. I like. That's where dad. I get it from. Yeah. yeah, he's funny. I like him. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's awesome. But like for me, uh, somebody's hold on a second. Just, uh, 
trying to re trying to read everything. Oh, that was you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why do we have four messages? What happened? <laughs> I can't hear. Oh, you. when I'm I couldn't here, hear. Uh, like, oh, yeah, yeah. But I was messaging you on the on the. And how do I get out of it? Uh -huh. Um, oh, I didn't know I did it four times. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is. So, um, I have a serious question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Jen, Jenny, um, so how many confirmed deaths have there been while I was in operation at the uh, you know, We don't, we don't have an exact number, unfortunately. No, a lot of the records were unfortunately destroyed or moved or gone, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so there is no exact number. Mm -hmm. But, they, but we know for a fact that there has been deaths there, right? Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Some have been documented. I'm sure there's some that haven't. Yeah, of course. Yeah, especially when you're dependent on state funding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't want anything bad coming out of there, you know, because you're worried that the state's going to stop funding. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, what's uh, what's uh, new for uh, Penhurst? Anything positive besides some de demolition <laughs> in the works? Uh, yeah, when are they planning on doing that? Uh, I always told us this summer. Uh, uh, yeah. um, they already, what is that word? Abatement? Yes. Is that they take out the windows uh, and all that and get it ready? Um, Hershey is already pretty much done. It's just like an empty shell. It's very sad. Um, oh my God. As a I matter of fact, I, I was standing near there taking a couple pictures and yeah. I just all of a sudden got this weird feeling and I looked over at the window and I felt like somebody was standing in the window. And all of a sudden I just got very, very sad. And it was like, they knew what was going on and they were sad. Yeah. And so I just That's said, I'm crazy. so sorry, you know, and it's, it's, you know, and I just wonder about that. Like, what do they think, you know, or where are they going right. to go or what are they going to do? You know? Yeah. You know, it's crazy because normally I'm thinking about that during the haunted houses. Mm -hmm. Like I always think like, what do the spirits think when this stuff is happening? Like during yeah. Halloween, you know what I mean? The, right. the haunted houses. I always wonder, um, you know, what they're the thinking, bothers them. you know, when they, they see like it. The them. Yeah. Or what they're like, yeah. like, what the hell is this? Yeah. You well, know, I, I think I, yeah, them I've never heard. even knew what Halloween was. I don't think they like, I think the Halloween, when they have those attractions, it, it's uh, an insult. I think it mimics them. I don't think, because there's a lot of tragic things that happen to them. So I, I I don't think they care for attractions like that, where people are, you know, they put on the costumes or cut up and they're bloody, fake blood and stuff like that. And a lot of them were tortured. And I don't think they like that part of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do, like, like Jenny, I agree with you how they feel sad because uh, it's, a lot of them, it's the only place they ever known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, and I, I, I don't, I don't like, but I don't like when they do the Halloween and they have the attraction. I don't like that. I think it, I think it makes fun of them. That's what I feel like. Spirits like don't like when they do that. But I, I, they feel the sadness because it's like that's all they know, and they don't. Okay, yeah, okay, they come, they can come and go. They're not, no spirit is stuck here. They can come and go. A lot. That's of, what I was gonna say. I'm hoping that they. They'll be fine. They'll uh, oops, sorry, you lost my phone. Um, you know, hopefully because this is happening and that's the only place they know and they felt comfortable coming back, now they know they can go to the light. So, mm -hmm. Tara, yeah. you put a band-aid on your finger? Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, hey, Jenny, since they know, you you know, they're comfortable with you. If you guys want to go back, I'll go back and say, okay, this is happening. They're going to demolish. Let's, we can cross them over and let them go. Oh, you my know. gosh. Our... Our well, YouTube, I said just our YouTube go over to Mayflower, right hang out in Mayflower, you know, like yeah. we'll talk to you over there. <laughs> More yeah, people right, to talk to. One. Yeah, mm -hmm. they will. Yeah. You know, but they'll they'll go when it's ready. They're they're not, they're not stuck. Um tragically unexpected. Yeah, they don't know that they can go to the light, but if you tell them they will go. Right. Okay. Yeah, I mean so anything, 
Anything coming up? Um, oh, um, you know what? I honestly don't know because, uh, you know, this whole coronavirus thing has everything so screwed up, you know, so um, I haven't really talked to too many people down there. So I don't know what the plans are as far as, uh, you know, a Paracon or I do know that they are looking for about June, July, I guess more towards July, starting to sell tickets for investigations again. Okay. So if anybody's watching that's interested in coming to Penhurst, um, yeah. maybe around mid to the end of July, start looking on the website, you know. Okay. Um, so hopefully we could start back in July. Yes, and it's so worth it. For anybody that has not ever been there, it mm -hmm. is so worth it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's an incredible campus, lots of activity, nothing like it. Yeah. Except Save. Gettysburg. <laughs> yeah, right? Gettysburg. Yeah. No, that's true. I was just going to say, like, you travel two hours. I travel two and a half hours. You know, like, it's when it's somewhere you love, it really isn't that far. It's worth it. No. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Rolling Hills is probably one of my faves, too. And I, I honestly, the drive was so dreadful. Mm. <laughs> the yeah. drive was so <laughs> dreadful. Yeah, it is. Six and a half hours, six hours. But six and a half hours of nothing. Like there's yeah. nothing. Yeah. You're just driving. And it's yeah. like yeah. it suddenly yeah. felt like 25 hours. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> I am not there yet. <laughs> oh yeah. I hear you. So when I go back, I want to make sure it's gotta be yeah. because yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we went with that other group. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've never been there. <laughs> You've never been? I think she's, did you say what other group, Jen? What's that? I, I thought she said what other group. What? The, oh, no. Mm -mm. Wait. Any question? Um, mm -hmm. Megan said, what building are they still preserving, saving, or planning to open? Um, again, that's up in the air. I don't know. Um, I know they're trying to do as much as they can. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see. So, Jenny, do you know the owners of the, the do you know the owners of, of Penhurst? Like, have you ever talked to them or anything? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Matt, yeah. Matt's yeah. One, right. Matt's a third, a third, right? Yeah. 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 So, so um, do you know, yeah. Do you know what their like 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 plans? I'm sure you know what it's a lot of ground ground. I'm sure they're like they you know they want to preserve it. Do they want to? Um, I hope they want to preserve it. But I, I hear you. It's up in the air. They probably don't know because you know some a lot of times you know, it's for some so, people money talks. You know what I why mean? Why do they have to? Why do they have to? Like, and I'm not saying just them, but why is it a law that you have to demolish something? Because they make money uh, safety. Apartments building. Yeah, before, like if if you have, so there's they're basically saying that there's not any type of security that will keep people out of it. Well, they have to pay taxes too on the land, so it's maybe. Um, mm. Well, mm, a lot of it is, I guess, they're just so far gone that they're afraid that these right. buildings might collapse at any moment, mm -hmm. and because they are so close to where you know we walk and. Oh, um, okay. Well, all right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Rockwell, I mean, it has a tree growing right up through the middle of it. You yeah. know? Yeah. So it's, wow. yeah. it's a shame. And I'm very devastated about the whole thing. Um, yeah, I wish there was something they could do. But once uh, the state deems it legally condemned, mm -hmm. there's, you can't exactly. do anything after that. Yeah. yeah. It's sad. It really is. Mm -hmm. It That's does. Like, um, like you, if you were up at the hospital, that, that one building, you know, caved in on itself and mm -hmm. I guess yeah. they had to knock knock some of it down just so it wouldn't come back out and hit anybody. Oh, uh -huh. So yeah I'm sure I'm sure it's a lot of money to even keep up. You know, mm. so you, I mean like what are you supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. That's why that was Halloween. That's why the, the Halloween yeah. have that and and the paracon yeah. and everything to try to, to build the the roofs and try to work with what can be salvaged. You know, yeah, and, and you know, they don't let us have the paracon. I don't, you know, like 
Oh, that's yeah. another story. I mean, he's Matt and them are really good at getting uh, events in there. You know, they have the uh, they had the camp out last year. They have like a brew fest, a car show, um, you know, all kinds of different events to try and raise the money. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I know sure a lot of people are. wouldn't agree with it, but unfortunately, to preserve, you yeah. gotta have the the money. You gotta do, you know. gotta do to preserve it if you want well, that's it. Right. I would say, like, like, it, you yeah. know. Look at, yeah, look look at it. Out. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I, 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 I do. Like, I didn't think that I didn't think anything bad when I would think about how they felt about it. You know what I mean? The Halloween stuff. Mm -hmm. I yeah. um, mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Like, I wonder. I just was. I didn't think I didn't feel anything negative from that. Actually, I always thought up until Penhurst because Penhurst totally is the first time that Wait well, second time, but you, but the center is different, Beth. As the first time, like a place like that actually, yeah, had more activity with the more people around. Usually, I feel like they shy away from stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, so if they have free will, they can come and go as they please. You know what I mean? So if the haunted thing's going on, maybe they do go somewhere else. You know what I mean? Just yeah, kinda... I think they do. <laughs> I do. Yeah, right? yeah they do. Yeah. I think they do. Like when if it's something that they don't like, they're not going to be there. Yeah, right. because Jenny, you you're like by yourself, and they're familiar with you, and they trust you. You mm -hmm. know, and you're you know you're not overwhelming. Uh, you're an empath. You're very open to this, and they they like, and you you know they accept that, and they're like. They're ready to communicate with you sometimes because when you have these big, huge events, you may you may get a holes and you just don't know and and are disrespectful. And uh, somebody <laughs> when we were there in summer, we won't mention names. Oh my! I goodness. told you guys. I told. I'm you glad guys. I wasn't there. I know. And, and and I'm like, all right, you know, this is enough. That somebody is was like being somebody was being disrespectful and stupid. You know, totally, totally, uh, totally, and, and, you know, scaring, scaring the guests that were down there with them and everything. And I, and I swear if I was down there, I would have, I did, I did, yeah. you, Taryn, you would have been proud of me. <laughs> I, yeah, I, would, I had yeah. to say something and that wasn't like me, but yeah, totally disrespectful. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done. And I, and I, I don't like right. education and I did, I was like, all right, I'm going to say something. And that was it. But, um, yeah. I think some of the spirits can feel that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, especially when somebody's. Um, Megan asked. Um, wait a minute, where did it go? Oh, oh no, the bats. She's just bashing oh, yeah. on the bats. Are. Yeah, there. Oh, the bats. How are the Penhurst bats? <laughs> uh, pretty good. <laughs> Haven't seen any lately. Um, That's good. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> how, often, how often do they do that? How often do they drive around and release bats? Um, I guess I don't know what rehabilitation they, they work through or whatever, but I guess it just depends on if they have any that needed to be released. Wow. That was pretty cool. They they should be coming back soon. You know, they they tend to go wherever well, do they do during it the, the first winter. Year or just the second year. Uh I'm not quite sure because that was actually a surprise to me too. I didn't know it was a bat sanctuary. But um, bugs that went there. It's great. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, you know, that is, is, are they frozen? <laughs> Sabrina. What's that? I think Sabrina and um and Tony are best back. Are you back? Move your head. Yeah, she's back. What? You guys were like frozen. Where'd I go? Wow. <laughs> that was funny. Tony's hiding. I saw me he just hid behind Sabrina. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know about the bats either. But you know what? The mosquitoes, I remember I remember last year, people were like, because oh, we were supposed to go down by the pool area. And they're like, you know, it was during the investigation, like, I'm not going down there. I'm going to get eaten alive. Blah, blah, blah. So we didn't go down because they, they didn't want to get eaten alive. So I was like, oh. <laughs> So I was going to do a good job with those lantern flies. I don't think you lantern flies. Yeah, I think they eat the, I think they eat the lantern flies too. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, still, I still, me and Frank Snelly got into it last year because it was me, Frank Snelly, and actually Rich Rozell. We were in a tent, and we were talking, and there was a lantern fly. And I looked at the two of them, and I go, "Do not kill that fly." I'm like, "You're supposed to," and I'm like, "Oh, I remember that." I remember. So did you? Kill and it they didn't. They didn't. 
Yes, they did not do it and because of me, because I'm so sensitive about living things <laughs> that I you know, you are. can't even let somebody kill a dangerous fly, which I'm like, listen, dude. <laughs> I know. I didn't know what they were. And when I first saw one, I was like, oh, look how pretty that thing is. <laughs> yeah. And, and that was the first time I seen them was at Pennhurst, too. So I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah. so pretty. <laughs> and they're like, 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 no. Do the lantern flies. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, I, I, yeah, I didn't see any last year. So I think we we're. No, I didn't I see any I... last year. I saw them the year before. Yeah. Oh, I, I haven't seen them the year before. Yeah. That's my first saw. I've never seen it. Me and me and Rich and that the when I saw it, it was at um it was at Selma. Mm. Oh, okay. at, yeah. at they're out there. They're a whole bunch yeah. of them out there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. No. I yeah, I've seen it at Selma too. And <laughs> if any of my friends are watching and I'm ever around, please don't ever kill one in front of me. But they're evil. I know, but. I don't want to look at anybody. I don't want to look at anybody any differently, and that'll totally like. Oh, really? I love everybody that's on here. Right now. <laughs> Not just you guys. I mean, like everybody, anybody that's watching. Yeah. Don't kill anything around here that is not human. <laughs> right. Or you'll, you'll lose animal. Well, human, but animal. That's it. Right. Human. There's animals. Human. Animal. I'm scared to see get run over by a car, but you know. Don't run over, don't run over a raccoon or I'll kill you. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, thank you, Jen. I'm glad you had we oh. a lot of you about Penhurst, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. having me on. Thank you. It's good to see you guys. Hopefully we'll thank see each other you. soon. Yes, thank you, Jen. Okay. Bye. Yeah, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> does it no, feel like you. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> that was tomorrow. Did Jeez, I miss something? Down. That felt what? so abrupt. What happened tomorrow? What felt abrupt? Well, I didn't know it was going to happen that fast. But okay. I know. I was like, wow. I thought we were just talking. And then all of a sudden, it was like, all right, well, good night. Bye. 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 Like, I don't know. Someone said, "Oh well, well, who said that?" It's like an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we didn't technically. Ah. But we didn't technically. We technically didn't didn't go. Well, we didn't go on until seven thirty. What happened? I mean, we didn't even get on until. Yeah. Like, what? Well, I didn't say. I I said, "Well, thank you, Jen." I didn't say anything yes. else. Sabrina said, "Let's get off." <laughs> <laughs> I always said was thank you. I know. You're like, we're like in the middle of talk. We're in the middle of talking. Brent is like, okay, don't worry, Brent. Wait, 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 wait. That was funny. <laughs> and then Beth's down her mind. She, she took the cue. <laughs> I mean, she's like, I'm out of here. I said thank you. That's all I said. I just. <laughs> I was like, well, thank you, Dad. Jenny, if you're still watching, down to the end. Watching, <laughs> everything at you, we're making fun of Sabrina, not you. So, <laughs> right. Because Sabrina really didn't we mean it that way, but we're just making her feel bad about it. Yeah, like, yeah, we don't want you to think Sabrina we don't want to lot, leave, but really she didn't mean that. She just saying that. Oh, I got a few more questions now. <laughs> yeah. I know. We love you, Jenny. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you, Jen. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna see. I I didn't know how the audio would go, but I was gonna see how. Um, we can sing too. If Josh could have came on too. I thought that's what I thought you were gonna do because you were like, "Oh, Josh is coming." <sighs> he was on here. Look at, look at Sabrina. There's another cue. Stay. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? <laughs> no. What? My yawn. Oh, yeah, yeah. my yawn. Terrible. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> she's yearning, right? She just she just texted Anthony like, didn't I just say it's time to go? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> she, she's like, my right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, we're kidding. <laughs> So don't forget, tomorrow night we're gonna be on the gathering. Yeah. Seven o'clock SRS. 
paranormal, which is going to be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah, Are we yeah. all going to be able to be on the no. screen? I think yeah. so. I think they do. They think they do with their stream yard as well. Hmm. What day is it? I'm not sure. Wednesday, today's Thursday. Today's Wednesday. It's going to be a Thursday for the SRS. Is today Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday. It's hump day. Yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> Shit. And Mary oh. Kat says Wednesday. Bless you. Oh I know. She's yawning. She's yawning. Beth, that yarning. wasn't. Are you yarning? She's yawning. Yeah, I don't know. I'm done. I'm out. We were, on, <laughs> we were on the public today and it was shit, you know. It's exhausting just to be on the public nowadays. Should I do it? Well, it, not out the public. Exhausting. The public comes to me. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, it must be like double the exhaustion because, I mean, yeah, I got to work yeah. tomorrow. I got to be in North Jersey. Ooh. Yeah. Not, it's not fun over there, I'll tell you that much. That's where, did, did I, I posted so I saw a dead goat. In goat? A goat on the side of her. Don't tell her about it. Don't tell her about it. Oh my God. Don't tell her about it. Don't tell her. 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 Don't tell so I'm just the, the point I'm trying to make is I, you go you start going into the twilight zone when you start heading up that way. You know, so well, they're you all never know to, you never know what, they all got the corona. Huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. She, she Tom, she is not trying to hide it. Don't even say that. What? Tom said you're trying so hard to hide another yawn. LOL. Now you're making me. I up. know, I know. I just all right, sometimes at a certain time, at a certain time. It's like my body's like, hello, it's it's pillow time. Oh, please. <laughs> yeah. It's two All times right, through the day. It's one, one in the afternoon and like nine, nine o'clock at night. Those two times are terrible yeah. for me. We had fried chicken. For and we had fried chicken. Yeah, we had food before we came out. Uh, well, I and, and, and beer. And beer. beer. So yeah. he's been feeding me beer. Dennis. Porn stuff. So that was the brew. That was the brew. Yesterday, yesterday, I had tequila and I was so freaking oh, trashed yeah. after like a few shots. I we were. I was. I don't know what happened. Don't eat the worm. <laughs> That's what happened. This yeah, that happened a couple of times over but the last. We, we, but we were like, we go right out back because there's the, the 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 river. Yeah. So, I mean, literally, you step outside the apartment and there's a water. So, we're walking and there's, there's beavers. The there's a beaver. We call him Beavis. She Beavis. said beaver. His name's Beavis. <laughs> he needs a beaver. It might be a muskrat. Either a muskrat or a beaver. So, beaver. <laughs> we know. He saw a beaver. He's my beaver. He's <laughs> a beaver. <laughs> you, got beaver. you got beaver fever? <laughs> I got the beaver fever, yes. So, we know where he is, he lives, so we go out, we see him. <laughs> so they're chowing away. He's chowing away. What else? So we saw see? our beaver. We were seeing fireworks. We were like, what the hell? Last night there was a big fire. <laughs> you. What a fire. We watched the, the, over in the Philly side. Yeah. We're on the Jersey side. I'm like, wait a minute, there's a there's there's black smoke. What's that? And all of a sudden, we start seeing flames, and I'm like, "Holy shit! There's a fire!" Yeah. This is in the, this is like the common happening area. Right? What you guys do on your phone? Is Philly Beaver different than Jersey Beaver? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The Jersey side of Beaver is definitely a lot more hairier. Oh, Philly's got a lot of beaver. <laughs> yeah, a lot of beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Megan said, Megan said, new drinking game. Every time someone says beaver, drink. Why does your phone sound different? Did you guys move it? No. The microphone sounds different. Oh. Tom wrote beaver about <laughs> 20 times. <I> <laughs> Funny. 
Yeah. No, we saw a crane. We saw a crane. We saw what else did we saw? We saw fireworks. We're like, what is going on here? This is like so weird. It was a tequila. Wow. How are they? Who was shooting fireworks? That's pretty awesome. Who we don't know. That? And then we went. We were shooting fireworks across the Philly, and then we go down because we wanted to see the water from below. And then we're sitting on a log, and all of a sudden, there's fireworks shooting off behind yeah, us. Like, what the hell? She said she it went was, down. It was Easter. <laughs> Yeah, I went down. Yeah, so I went down. I can't we know where Beth's head's at. Big log, you know, you know. Big log I sat on. We know where Beth's head's at. Yeah. What did he say? She sat on a big log. Oh! She uh, sat on a big log. <laughs> talking about logs and beaver now. And yeah. It's all coming together. No, uh, uh, it's a big beaver. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a what? vision of your day yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, that's it was good. crazy. It was crazy, man. Like we, then, then there was like another little fire to the side. We're like that's probably the arsonist sitting there and making a little oh. campfire. Then the that's not good. I, we don't Beg, know. We don't get know Beth that. another drink. This is fun. I know. I know. I'm out. I'm out. I gotta go get oh, more. Yeah. Listen, the, your your wine was your glass was still the wine this day. Uh, like, yeah. I, I you were chugging it. Yeah. 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 I hate when they go to the restaurant. It's this much filled. I'm like, come on. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably take a walk to find the beaver tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tonight As you're, it, you're not going to make it anywhere. You're going to make three steps and pass out. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yesterday was much worse. Much oh, worse. Was I was gone. How many shots did you have? I didn't think I had that much. I didn't think I had that much. I didn't think I ate that much for dinner, oh, so yeah. I'm going to eat fast. Yeah. Eight, that it was a good tequila. So yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Well, as long as you had fun. That happened yeah. to me and Rob the other night, the couple weekends ago, when we were celebrating my brother's birthday, and we were yeah. all on the thing. We just all were just doing shot after shot after shot. Yeah. And you don't even know how many shots you had because well, you're just talking like yeah. that. Tequila is like a mind eraser. Don't hate you to get up or start walking. Listen, I, we were doing shots of whiskey. Oh, I like, I like whiskey. Whiskey's my favorite. Then tequila. Uh, brandy, that's a good one nowadays for your throat. Your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get, I need more alcohol. Sorry. <laughs> get another. Are we still I'm a cop for me. I can't. I am, I'm at my mother's house. I gotta drink. Oh, sh. <laughs> what? She's confessing. Come on. Are we in therapy now, or this is the part of Paranormal Brew that's it's the therapy? Wait, she may watch us. Um, <laughs> who watches? Anyway. Who watches? Love you guys. Okay. Love you too. Love you too. Thank you. I need See? Mm -hmm. I could have said thought that that was the end of the, uh, at the end. And you All right, goodbye. Fine. I love you too, but. <laughs> you're just trying to you're just trying to you know take away from the limelight of what you did to poor Jenny. <laughs> I, didn't know what I, did. <laughs> I said <thanks. laughs> Oh you better text her. <laughs> so, she's like, okay, bye, see ya. Yeah, she's like, all right. Um I get the hint, I'm out. No, that's what that's what Sabrina said. I <laughs> Jenny was like, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. What's she doing? What's she doing? Mm. She's farting. I'm kissing my kitty cat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're kissing your kitty cat. That's impressive. She's kissing, <laughs> She's kissing the pussy cat. <laughs> See? There you go, you guys. Oh my god! Oh no, our our, our viewer our viewer numbers is going up. <laughs> Yo, he said swell up. <laughs> What's swell up? Like? Can't see? Is he dark? You don't see dark? Is he dark? I can't. What? I can't handle all this laughter. He's, he's a. That's good. Black fluffy thing, you know. Yeah, well, you know what they say. So, uh, Taryn, what's uh, what's 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 for Paranormal uh, Paranormal Brew next week? 
Well, no, th don't forget tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow. Well, right, that's, that's that, but, you know, that's so Thursday, we're gonna, tomorrow, we're going to be on The Gathering, SRS Paranormals. Yeah, we got that. And they sent us where we have to tune in, right? Or I, I think they do it through StreamYard, but it's going to be, um, what you call it? Hmm. It's in the email, right? We got to tune in or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's called the gathering, but I think they're using StreamYard, but it's SRS Paranormal. Okay. So, um, they're from Tennessee, and they started a show just like ours, which I think is awesome. Uh, and, yeah, and I don't, and yeah, you guys are gonna love them. Taryn and I got a chance to work with them, and Sabrina, you you guys are gonna love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're Very great. Cool. They are so cool. Oh, so, so cool. and then after that, so, so amazing. Yeah. Um. And then I don't know. I mean, what was that? We don't, don't know. No. I heard. We that. Uh, so <laughs> maybe another episode we can talk about this place. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I heard. You that. heard it. Didn't I, yeah. I heard it. I heard it. Yes. It's a long story. Yeah, we get things here and there. Yeah. I'll so when we come, <laughs> so when we coming over. <laughs> you, you might. Hour, but we all heard it maybe we can do a social distancing ghost hunt in your new place as a housewarming <laughs> a housewarming uh oh no we had experiences yeah there's, Almost, there's been uh, experiences yeah you know. yeah some crazy stuff and the cat goes nuts yeah the cat uh, please it, has, it has to do with the river something with the river it has yeah with, uh, with the indian there's a there. I feel a male, but we do feel native. Yeah, uh, yeah. some native because of the river and all. Yeah, but I also do. Connected. I also do a lot of like the sage and everything, so it's probably attracting, you know, that that native stuff that I have. You know, so. it's pretty intense sometimes. Uh, it was the first what, second weekend. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I. This, yeah, I mean, I have, we have we have experiences, and uh, I can't explain it right now. We're we're it's very clear. Like we even heard children's voice. I thought we heard a child child's voice. Yeah, an animal. Yeah. You think the cat plays with its uh, new friend? Um. So do you, this, know, do, you, do you know the history of the house? It's not. The we're breaking, we're breaking, we're in that process. We're it's under. It's fine, but I think it's the land. Like this was land, and then this yeah. was yeah, built yeah. on top of it. It's a complex. Mm -hmm. So. I'm uh, here on land. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, land. The land. I'm here on land, not mm -hmm. necessarily the the townhouse. I'm hearing more yeah. land than the river. It's the land, not the apartment. Yeah, yeah. not the apartment. I agree. Yeah, yeah. So everybody's getting a kick out of the fact that Sabrina said, "I feel a male." I laugh my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> Megan said, "You need to get a drink." Oh, Megan boy. said there were 18 people on at one point, and Tom said now just nine drunk people watching. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's always, after the interview, this is when the, the stuff really comes out. That's yeah, the, I know, right? The people, that, people that leave us after the interview are, are missing out. <laughs> yeah, she well, she didn't have to, but Sabrina said, "Get out." <laughs> thank you, thank you, Danny. The time is up. It's time to go. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I swear, guys. I, know, I swear, Teddy. So I did not mean it that way. I know. It was funny, though. She's like, all we right. We have the envelope here in front of us, and it reveals. Wait. What do you, what do you Jenny, have? Jenny, you are no longer welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> That's not I'm nice. Say sorry. I'm just joking. Tony, you're, you're cracking yourself up. I know. I, know. Yes. <laughs> I got to keep that Roger. I like the Roger story. I, I definitely think that uh, was a cool story. No, I, I do think I, I would continue investigating that better. Yeah, that is an amazing story. That's yeah. crazy with the um, the light too. Mm -hmm. The kind of came crashing. That's why you do not provoke. I forgot yeah, to say. Provoke. I forgot to say something while she was on. Man, she shares uh, uh, most of my funny memes come from her. Like she shares some. Yeah, funny she does. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, she cracks me up. So Jenny, if you're watching, I meant to say that before Sabrina kicked you off. I meant to tell you that how much I love. We the love stuff you. Put up she on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Good night. It's been real. Yeah, it's been real. Oh, yeah. She's, yeah, she's it was a good show.
I need a good laugh. Yeah, I knew that. And I um, passed it on. And I'm serious, like, you know, I think that we've been good long enough that we could probably like hang out. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I could use it. I'm not doing real well mentally. Just so yeah. So, yeah. you know, th this is a cover, what I'm doing now, laughing. I'm just saying, but I'm trying. Yeah. Now, it's not a cover. You're probably really enjoying yourself right now, but, you know, and yeah. it's a moment. It's You need moments like that, you know? Yeah. You need yeah. moments to just forget about what's happening and just, you know, this is why this is so important to me, you know, because I feel like it takes, takes me out of reality for just a little bit, you know, because we're talking about something that we love, we're, we're reminiscing, we're talking about, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's a good thing. And then who knows, maybe people that are watching, it takes them away from the reality for a little bit, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it stinks out there. If you're in this area. It's not. It's not fun. It's just the energy. It's just sad. I don't think anywhere's fun. It's depressing, man. It's just getting wacky. Yeah. Yippers. But stimulus checking. Woo! Yeah, it did. Did you we see the stuff I put up on Facebook? No. I won't get. I won't. We won't get a stimulus check. What? Who? Who? What? Because we filed. Uh, we're joint and uh, money situation. We will not get a stimulus. Oh, uh, yeah. well, has I don't know. Know. maybe Sabrina can talk privately. Yeah, I mean, I got mine, but I'll split it and nope. give him this year. Oh, uh, you're so sweet. No, listen, but the last two years, I haven't worked in two years. So, all the taxes. <laughs> But we didn't I still found that, one. That looked, like, that, that looked like you fell straight down. <laughs> but because we filed jointly, I, I haven't made money in two years. So I the taxes say I actually made somebody money because we're still jointly, we're still married. So I don't get anything and too much money on the other side. So we don't get no oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, have, a, have really? a nice holiday. We don't get nothing, so thank you. I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I feel like aren't they doing some like something? You're nothing. I thought as long as you file and you, but she. She's had that, you know. Oh no. Um, no, but no, he made too much. He made too oh, much. He made too he much. Made too much. It has to do with dollars. Really? Okay. He made that much, huh? Wow. Not me. Yep. Anyway. Oh no! I know! I know! I know! Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yes, 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 he did. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> well, but yeah. And, anywho. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Bethy. Yeah. Always, my door's always open. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we might, yeah. Well, maybe we'll uh, see you this weekend, Karen. I don't know. Yep. Yeah, for sure. What Seriously. Right this weekend? Uh, come over. I said we've all been doing everything we're supposed to be doing, like for Absolutely. literally two months. Like I have not done anything for two months except go to work, go home, or go to the grocery store. That's it. Pretty much yeah, same trying here. To, and I'm trying to get my and, um, shots. So that's you filed the gathering uh, provision. You filed the gatherings is what ten and under ten, right? Yeah. And keep your six okay. six feet or whatever, and then uh, just. Uh, it does say in this executive order, the New Jersey executive order says you can visit family and friends. Yeah. That's considered essential. Now, but as long as you follow the gathering guidelines and then the six feet guidelines. And and we, I have masks. So if you guys need yeah, masks, masks, I have yeah. masks. And you have a private backyard. So yeah. <laughs> this is true. But we I feel like we gathering it. together. And it's pretty large that I, we can go one, you'll be here, I'll be there, then you're <laughs> Yeah. We for separated sure. far enough. So uh, Megan right. said Megan said all of us be together and then let other people join in virtually. Yeah. Keep okay. it like, do like a live feed, just keep it live, you know, like set it up and like, you know, just two people watching this gathering. Is yeah. that what it is? And then we would like go up to the camera and say say stuff here and there. So just like a live yeah. thing. <laughs> like the streaming. Like yeah, like streaming live. Like a live thing, yeah. Like the FaceTime. Like, yeah. <clears throat> like a live feed, you know? Mm -hmm. 
It's like watching a zoo animal just pace back and forth. Like, oh, there's like, there's like, Karen and Rob getting drunk, and there's there's Sabrina laughing and kicking people <laughs> off this virtual show. Falling off, the, <laughs> falling into the pool with no water in it. All right, all right. All right. Love you guys. Wait. Just right, put better. taped X's. Oh, put taped X's on your grass to where we can stand. <laughs> oh, six feet away. All right, guys. Yeah. Love All right. I love you. I love you and too. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Miss you too. Right. Thank you, everybody, right. for joining us. Everybody. Thank you, Jenny, Lynn. Thank you so much for coming on and thank sharing partners with us. This was awesome. Yeah, thank you, Jen. Try and, to do. Uh, Go to the oh, gathering sure. tomorrow on SRS Paranormal's page and join us there tomorrow. And then hopefully we'll be on next week. Okay. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, Beth was gone. She's like, peep. Oh. <laughs> Bye. See ya.